Dr. Sawamura of the National Institute for Material Science presented a biosensor that uses a semiconductor diode structure at the Nanotech 2009 show. This biosensor uses a metal insulator semiconductor diode formed on a silicon substrate, and NIMS is targeting applications of the biosensor for research and detection of infectious diseases. Japan now has the world's most advanced nanotechnology for mass production of semiconductor chips. Using this nanotechnology, we can form minute electrodes on an insulating oxide film that is on the surface of a silicon substrate, where a nanoscale interface is formed between biomolecules and the silicon substrate. The biosensor that we are presenting at this show is designed to detect the amount of molecules that are present at that interface. When this nanoelectrode is used to apply a high electrical field to the molecules, the resistance of the device, or more precisely, the impedance, can be measured to accurately determine how many molecules are present at the interface. This sensor could be widely used to detect biomolecules and in DNA chips and enzyme sensors. However, my real wish is that it is first used to detect infectious diseases, such as the influenza virus. In the future, we should be able to use the biosensors to study the major theme of the biomatter interface, or in other words, the interaction between cells and silicon substrates. NIMS is already advancing with the development of technology to mass-produce the biosensor and is targeting practical applications within two and a half to three years. Dig in for news.